Chlorine is generally transported and stored as a liquefied compressed gas. The containers used for the transport of chlorine must meet U.S. DOT and Transport Canada regulations. Other than those containers at large production facilities, chlorine will most likely be contained in 100 and 150 pound cylinders, 1 ton containers, 20 ton tank trucks, 90 ton rail tank cars, and barges. The transportation of chlorine is controlled by DOT regulations, and it is the responsibility of the shipper or transporter to know and comply with these regulations. All chlorine containers share these characteristics. They are constructed of steel. They are inspected and pressure tested at regular intervals as required by applicable regulations. They are equipped with either pressure relief devices or fusible plugs designed to relieve pressure. They are marked, labeled and placarded as required by applicable regulations. And they are built to meet federal government specifications. 100 and 150 pound cylinders are the most common smaller type of chlorine container. Some cylinders of lesser capacities also exist and are used for special applications, such as laboratory use or pool use. To allow for normal expansion, regulations require a vapor space be left in the filled cylinder. The container valves are located on the top of the cylinder and protected by a removable hood. Ton containers are welded tanks with a capacity of one short ton, or 2,000 pounds, with a loaded gross weight of as much as 3,650 pounds. The container valves are located on the end of the ton container and are protected by a removable steel housing. Railroad tank cars and motor vehicle tank trucks are the most common mode of transporting bulk chlorine, though portable tanks and barge tanks are also used. Most common chlorine shipments are made in single-unit tank cars of 90-ton capacity, which are standard in North America. There is a small percentage of 55-ton tank cars on the rails as well. Chlorine tank cars and tank trucks, while different in their mode of transport, are similar in their construction. Each is constructed to meet strict regulations and in such a way as to reduce the increase in vapor pressure during hot weather transport. The valves on either container, including the pressure relief device, are found within the manway cover inside the protective housing. This chart illustrates the physical and identifying characteristics of each type of container. Detailed information about chlorine transport containers can also be found in pamphlet 49, Recommended Practices for Handling Chlorine Bulk Highway Transports, and pamphlet 66, Recommended Practices for Handling Chlorine Tank Cars, available from the Chlorine Institute. DOT regulations require that anyone who offers chlorine for transportation must provide a staffed 24-hour emergency response telephone number that can be called in the event of an emergency involving chlorine. Also, any carrier, customer, or civil authority can obtain basic emergency information and be connected with the closest chlorine emergency group through the following agencies. In the U.S., the Chemical Transportation Emergency Center, or Chemtrek, located in Falls Church, Virginia, is the dispatch agency used. Chemtrek operates 24-7 to receive direct dial toll-free calls from any point in the continental U.S. Calls from Alaska, Hawaii, and marine radio phones use a separate number. Chemtrek provides immediate advice for those at the scene of emergencies, then promptly contacts the appropriate responder group as necessary. In many cases, this will be the shipper, but in some cases, the designated response group will be notified first, then the shipper. In Canada, the Canadian Transport Emergency Center, or Canutec, located in Ottawa, is the dispatch agency. Canutec is administered by Transport Canada and operates very similar to Chemtrek. In Mexico, Centro de Comunicaciones de la Dirección General de Protección Civil, or CECOM, is the dispatch agency and operates much like Chemtrek or Canutec. The Chlorine Emergency Plan, or CHLORREP, was established in 1972 by the Chlorine Institute as an industry-wide program to improve the speed and effectiveness of response to chlorine emergencies in the U.S. and Canada. 
The primary purpose of the formalized plan is to minimize the risk of injury arising from the actual or potential release of chlorine during emergencies occurring in the course of transportation, at distribution points, or at the chlorine user locations. Under this plan, the U.S. and Canada have been segmented into regional sectors, where trained emergency responder teams are on constant alert on a 24-hour basis. These teams come from chlorine producers, packagers, distributors, and consuming plants that are equipped to handle possible or actual chlorine releases. Chlorep can be activated through Chemtrek or Canutech.